Chapter 27 Faith If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Jesus Faith means much more than a religious sect that one may belong to. It also means much more than just believing in something. Some of the misunderstanding about faith comes from people reading one thing about it and disregarding the rest. For example, Paul wrote to the Hebrews, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. That makes faith a belief. But then, in James we read, Faith without works is dead. And, I will show you my faith by my deeds. Thus, faith is both belief and action, or action that is caused by belief. As Joseph Smith put it, faith is a principle of action and power. In other words, we can believe that we're able to get dressed in the morning, but it is by faith that it actually gets done. We can have faith in anything. That is why the LDS Church emphasizes faith in the Lord Jesus Christ specifically. The people that crucified Jesus had faith that they were doing the right thing, as did Muhammad's jihad, or ancient Israel when they murdered in the name of their God. So it is important that we ground our faith in reason and love. Love is what guides us in progression. We progress from hope to belief to faith to knowledge to wisdom. The opposite of love is hate, which comes from fear and ignorance. Those that live in fear also live in despair, but an act of love can silence fear and give hope. They can then hope for something better. Through reason, that hope can become a belief. The reasoning might go from, I hope to be a better person, to, if that person can show a selfless act of kindness, then I believe I can too. The belief turns to faith when they actually act kindly. After faith is knowing. We have been faithful enough times to know that showing love is always the best option. Beyond knowledge is wisdom. Just as faith is the combination of belief and action, wisdom is the action of applying knowledge in the best way. All of the truly wise know that love should guide all our decisions. The wise then become holy, whole beings like the gods. Jesus compared faith to a mustard seed. From just a tiny seed, a useful plant can grow and multiply over time. The faith to move a mountain also takes time and effort, whether by one rock at a time or by ingenuity. The prophet Alma also used seed imagery to teach about faith. He said that if one believes a seed to be good, they can plant it with faith that it will grow. In order to see the fruits of the seed, one must continue to exercise faith by nourishing its growth. Thus, faith is a lifestyle. It is what we do and why we do it. It is comparable to the Hindu concept of dharma, which is the fulfilling of one's duties and living by correct actions. Correct actions are all of the virtues such as honesty, justice, charity, diligence, patience, kindness, etc. Joseph Campbell is an author known for his studies in world religions. When asked for any words of wisdom he would like to share with others, he replied, follow your bliss. That could be taken as, do whatever makes you feel good, or as, do that which drives you to be better, find your calling, and enjoy it. It reminds me of the axiom from Aleister Crowley, do what thou wilt. Our will is what drives us to experience life's lessons, and we will eventually learn them one way or another. Crowley also wrote, love is the law, love under will. It is by the will that we act in faith. Will and prayer go hand in hand. Some of the methods of prayer are in the following chapter, but it is faith that makes prayer work. There are many types of prayer, and there are many different magical rituals, but what causes any of them to work is the energy of the mind coupled with outward action. The actions cause heightened emotions and a magnified focus on the desired outcome. This is also how many get results through visualization, a method made popular by a book called The Secret. Famous Hollywood stars like Will Smith, Oprah, and Jim Carrey are big proponents of visualization. All forms of faith produce results. Theoretical physicists like Max Planck have put forth the quantum theory that we create a reality with our mind and will. As it goes, the universe is made up of consciousness. Consciousness is synonymous with thought, light, spirit, and energy. 
it is already a scientific fact that all is energy at the atomic level. Light waves, sound waves, heat waves, brain waves, gases, liquids, and solids are all made up of varying vibrational frequencies of energy. By that same energy that we are made out of, we as individual observers create our own reality through the specific vibrations that are caused by our thoughts and actions. In other words, by our faith. Knowing that the universe is made of consciousness can help us understand that we are all creators, being that we are all individual parts of a whole, and that we create our own reality. The universe is a product of everyone's thoughts, including those of other animals, plants, elements, gods, etc. That is why when more people join together in fasting and praying, the results are greater. That is the power of faith. Now, there are those that act on blind faith, that is the seed of stupidity. Acting because you believe something, even though it does not make logical sense, is the reason the world has suicide bombers and Kool-Aid drinkers. Any organization that tells you to do as you are told, whether it makes sense or not, is not good for human progression. All faiths have laws by which one ought to live, and most of them make logical sense. In the Ten Commandments of Moses, we are taught that we should work six days, then rest for a day. Jesus understood that the human body needs rest, but he reasoned that one must prioritize. Although it is your day off, you should still help your kid if he or she falls into a pit. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath, were his words. The commandments not to kill, steal, or lie all make sense for a civilized society. But the law that someone should be killed for sleeping around was not reasonable to Jesus, so he saved the adulterous woman's life. We should all be more like Jesus in our approach to commandments. We should use our brains and exhibit love and understanding. That is sound faith. If we were to take all the truths of the various faiths of the world and categorize them and synchronize the terminology, we would see that they are not that different. With some common sense, we could weed out the nonsense and accept humanity as one family and one faith.